This episode of UFish TV is brought to you by Robust Automotive and Marine Paints, Shimano Unequaled Engineering Excellence, Ray Marine Electronics, Bar Crusher Boats, Suzuki Outboards, and Club Marine Insurance. Yep, this is one pause. He's not nice bad, grab oh. the net. Oh, he's good. Power. Bit unsure at the start, but uh, come through at the end to be a snapper. So, a bit sketchy, but good sign. Very nice. Nice fish, too, mate. Good. Well, Judge and Walter said the other day, Brendy, I'd say he's uh, about eight. No, a bit. Solid six. six. Is that all it is? Yeah. Five, Solid five, six. Six and a half. Yeah, six and a half. Just go with the sleep pausing. <laughs> Clown. <laughs> <laughs> I'm near pace, mate. Makes yeah. no sleep definitely worthwhile. Mate, it's a good little start. They started off a little bit smaller the other day as well. Certainly did, yeah. Yep. yep. And, um, small beginnings, mate. We'll get a hook out of him and get another one on. Yeah, let's do it. Good fish. Is it a good fish in the I think so. Have a bit of a talk to us, mate. So, what are we doing here? Why are we back? We're back. We're back down at Port Wells Pool because we've had an unbelievable session a couple of days ago. And we just kept peeking at, peeking at Willy Weather. Just seeing if, if we can come up with any excuse to make our way back down here. And, uh. Yes. And that's why, everyone. <laughs> Either a little bit better. Yeah. Not much, but... Nice fish. My guess is he's got about seven kilos, boys. We'll see how close they are. What is cool? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd say seven. Go, you good thing. Oh, that's one way of doing it. <laughs> Push her under the boat. <laughs> yeah, shot, Another great release. This is uh, Brian Ware, and you're the local charter operator down here. I like to get here as much as I can. Yeah, you do. You don't live down here right close, but you're down here every day nearly, aren't you, with your customers? And you're out on the U-boat, mate. Yeah, you know, I got the call last night and the opportunity to come down and something you probably can't miss out on. Well, that's the thing. We told him, I rang him up and introduced myself. I said that, you know, we had this dream session, this insane snapper session just, just two days ago where we caught 32 snapper with a majority of them between 7 and 11 kilos. The vast majority, maybe two outside of that. And from what I've learnt, it's pretty rare even in this part of the world to do that in this port. And I said, look, he gets out of bed, this bloke, and he's on, look at him. Probably nearly not fair, really, isn't it? I don't think you deserve that. Well, put he, the hard yards on. Nice. He's, <laughs> he's slept all night. Hey? We will stay up and watch the rods, and as soon as he hears a rod go, he's up and he's on a rod. I think I baited it for him too. He jumped the, jumped the queue, yeah. Well, you were busy talking to Benny, and I thought I'd help you out a bit. Well, look, we've always wanted to do a lot more work down at Welkspool. We're going to do a lot, and so we thought we'd make friends with this fella, and he's going to guide us over the next few months on a few different trips. So to break the ice, we got him out on the U-boat and see if we can offer him something first, and that's Big Red. So what did you think of the action that you heard of and saw the photos from the other day? From what I heard and seen, it probably nearly even seemed surreal. Like, I, the, the amount of big fish and the, the number of them and was just amazing. So when you said to, to come put it back to back, um, I'd like to come out and see it in action and 
I think over behind us and what you've already seen, the <laughs> brutes again. The wood, yeah. And here's the key, the first light, last light, this place just goes off, we're found, and we've sat through the night for six hours for nothing. The minute the tire turned to run in, and first light, back to back, we're on, and that's what's happened. Yeah. And we've got to, and it's just, it's just gone right on cue. Nice fish, good morning before we go. I'm gonna have a go. <laughs> Look at the size of this! <laughs> That's what we were aiming for. It is bedlam on here at the moment. Have a good time, mate. Oh. <laughs> He sleeps all night, he gets out of bed, he picks up the rod that Ryan generously baited up for him, and look what he's about to show you. Well, <laughs> yeah, I think he's got to be a, at least nine, Benny. Yeah, well, we've got the scars there. We'll weigh him in a sec, but it's got to be not, nine, nine and a half, I'm tipping. What are you calling it, Ryan? <sighs> Big red head. Mate, uh, uh, I'd give it over eight. Now, we'll see. Right. So I've done it hard all night, and, uh, <laughs> You know, there wasn't room for three of us to be standing out here in the rain, and I didn't have a jacket, so I've been in bed. And this is what I get up to. If, if, if Ryan's called at eight, Paul's is called at nine and a half, I'm going to go with eight for eight. This is the, uh, it's like a, one of those up and goes, isn't it? Run Just get up and you go. Yeah, look at those two. Wait, let, we'll weigh in, let's see. Right, we're talking, if you can see that with the camera, it's 9.92 killed saying 9.92 10 kilo even it's bouncing too so well when we came the other day we didn't have scales we estimated these fish at fish like that we were calling nine i'm tipping that some of those fish we got the other day were 12. Oh, <laughs> like the one you got josh <laughs> that was because that was bigger than that it was that's well, a big fish oh. that's a 10 kilo genuine 10 kilo big red poor welsh bull pearl Okay. Alright, here's Pawsey Big Fish. Oh yeah, nice tail kick. Go on, Alan, you can do it. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Yes! She did it. She... Oh, oh. Yeah. She's gone. And welcome back to Ufish TV. Just before the break, you saw us hook into those monster reds with Ryan. We're down at Port Walsh Pool. The thing is, after that first two minutes of action, they went really, really quiet. And we're at a point now where we have to make a decision. Do we sit and sit and sit with pretty ordinary deteriorating bait that's gone purple? Or do we go and get some fresh stuff? Well, we've taken the punt. Ryan reckons that the bait's only 500 metres away from where we're sitting. So we're gonna, he's gonna go show us how we catch it and then get out there for the end of the tide and hopefully convert them into big red. Nothing to lose, because it was very quiet. Maybe a shark had come through or something like that, you reckon, mate? Quite possibly, yeah, and we did um, lose the fish sort of right in the session as well, and they can go down there and spook the school also. A little bit like whiting. Uh, Josh did actually hook up to a really nice fish after that 10 kilo model, and then pulled the hooks when it was down deep. And like a pack animal, like a herd animal, one bolt, so they all bolt. So let's go get some, use, the, use this time wisely, get the fresh bait and go back and sit at the end of the tide. On the first day we came here, that's when they went the best. So hopefully, pause, Josh, we can do it. You're all topped up with a 10 kilo fish in here, but oh, <laughs> no one's floundering there, are they? They'll just roll straight out of bed, straight into 10 kilos, mate. So, you know, <laughs> I'll let you blokes get a couple then. I'll, then I'll up it to, I'll upsize it with about a 12. <laughs> well, the new market's 12.2. Wayne just, just SMS me, got a 12.2 in Arno this morning. Yep. So that's the new mark. No, we we'll, can do it. We can beat that. I reckon we nearly did do that. I think we had a couple day. of days ago. Now that we got scales in the boat and we sort of realised how big 10 kilo. We undersized a few of them the other day, I reckon. 
So today we'll, we'll, we'll fix that up, won't we, Joshy? Yeah, I reckon we will. Yeah. We'll rectify the situation. 12.2. All right, All right. <laughs> have you finished? Yes. Okay. What are we doing, mate? <laughs> what we've done is come up onto the shallow section out of the um, deep water of the channel and we're finding some broken weed patches. We'll pick up our squid in there. So what depth have we got in here? Get ourselves in about sort of 1.8 to 2.5 and you'll, the squid will be there. Hey Ryan. Yep. So what size squid are we expecting to catch? Um, you'll get them ranging from sort of 200 grams up to a kilo and a half but sort of more commonly about 500 grams for the bait ones. So what size squid jig are we using? I'm using a three. You happy with that one there? Yeah, no, and find the brown really well produces well here. And that's my little Cephia. Got a few battle scars too. Oh mate, it's a gun. <laughs> and it's got the UV thermal cloth on it. Yep. So that's the new Cephia. You used one of them before? Yeah, have used them and I uh, found it to be very, very uh, productive. I shall say it's done. That's also my new Cephia AU Eggy Rod, the ones that we helped design with Ian Miller. The Think Big Crew and the U Fish Boys helped design that rod. So let us know what you think, mate. You're doing good, mate. We've basically just come in here to two and a half metres. And we're just drifting over, just sand and weed, like you said. Just employing the good old eggy technique of whip whip. And we've just had a double look up. That's a good one, mate. It's a few baits in that, Brandy. Get that in behind him. Well done. Well, that boys, that's, that's what we want now. That's what we want. We know the snapper there, we sand them up, but they're not going, they've gone a bit quiet. So maybe a fussy snapper or a shut down school snapper might not better resist something that fresh. We get half a dozen of those, we're going straight back out. Look at that. And he took me favourite. The red foil, Cephia 3.5, with a little bit of S factor on it. Sneaky. What we're doing is pretty simple. We're in that two and a half metres of water, which I said there'd be some broken ground and some weed. All we're doing is a drift with the wind. Cast your jig ahead of the drift, so that way you can retrieve it back to the boat. And basically you're gonna cover a lot of ground. If you do pick up a squid, and try and get some more jigs around that area, because you'll find they will be in a bit of a group. But it's pretty simple. Cast ahead of the drift, a couple of quick lifts, wind up the slack, rip, rip. And you sort of feel a bit of weight load up and always very important with squid, always keep the tension on it when retrieving it. And one just hopped on the holder behind me. So what have we got on here, big fella? Um, only a little tack of calamari, but if you looked in snapper currency, it's probably a $1,000. That's Megatron, mate. Megatron? Megatron yeah. the squid, they're gonna call him. Look at him. Megatron, look at him, Megatron. Look at the size of it. Hey, okay. and his little mate, Bumblebee. All right. Like I said, not, not a very large calamari, but oh. in snapper terms, mate, you're, you're a lucky man to have that hanging on the end of the hook. That is gold. Tell you what, when we're mulloway fishing, everyone, what do we call that? Everyone would know what that's called. A million dollar bill. Yeah. And we go spend it in the snapper shop. Yeah. A million dollar bill, I like that. Awesome. That's what we call them. Where yeah. have you been all these years? Well, you know, I don't pay much attention to things when you know what I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the way you roll. That's right, mate. Out of bed onto a 10 kilo snapper. She'll be right, mate. I uh, took a suggestion from yourself for the uh, red jig and uh, definitely proved to be a more productive colour. That's a Megatron. Coming over. It's another Megatron. Whoa, whoa. It's the Optimus Prime, actually. Oh, look at that. Easy the precious, that. precious, precious little bait. Alright. Doing well, good start, let's get some more. They transform. Into the Megatron? <laughs> well, well, that's what Megatron does, he transforms into that, into it, big it, red. transform into a huge big snap. Exactly. Yeah, it's unbelievable But I will get some advice you off you. put view. something down that big and then it comes back out that big. Yeah. What were you saying? Got to get some advice off uh, Pawsey about the 10 kilo models, he seems to have it pretty down pat. Something that was sleeping, Sleep, rolling. sleep, come out, bod, uh, rod's already baited, catch the fish and go back. Yeah. That's Pretty it. simple. That's the way In other works. words, see this thing I'm holding? It's the camera, that's what your duty is. That's, that's, that's how we roll it's around. Say goodbye everyone, that's the end of the show for you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I roll. <laughs>
Wow, well, snapper marks don't get much better than that. In 30 meters of water, the HDS was picking them up as meter long arches, we call them metery, so we're just gonna move up 60 meters and drop the pick. In this current, we should come back about 30 to 40, and we'll be casting back on it. We're just going to take the head off him, straight on, not the snapper slayer, but the gummy gotcha. The reason being, the gummy gotcha has the Ado hook, and the Ado hook is better suited to giant snapper. So it's just a hang bait like that, right next to symmetry, and that is going to get woofed. And basically what we got here is 100 pound trace, up to a running clip which runs on the main line, which is a, a 40 pound wind on leader to a massive sinker. We're fishing in 33 metres of water, so Singapore Channel runs hard, it's deep. We need that to hold the bait near the bottom and we're using Power Pro Braid. Without the braid, we'd have absolutely no hope at all. Let's hope it's a transformer. Was that Megatron? Uh, no, it wasn't. That was um, Bumblebee. Right. In gear. And the first thing we do when we when we come it in the deep, we pick the sinker up and we pull all the line back through on the other side of the running clip to make sure it pulls up tight against the running clip. So the swivel sits on it. And then when it's on there, we can see it at the bottom. See that up, bang, up, bang, it's on the bottom. In the horizontal rod back with about a kilo and a half of drag. Let's do the rest. Come on, boys, get in them. Let's get one each. Little hook, just pin him gently in the hood there, out through the head. This one, up through the body, that's your keeper, up to the top of the. Look at that. Come on, guys. Is that is that that is a transformer, isn't it? <laughs> and I just saw a little nudge on that. Down you go, Megatron. Oh, right around the rock. Now, what everyone's looking at this thing and why is it pilchards? We have a very good reason why we have pilchards here. We had some we brought along the burley, we haven't used them in two days. So right on the last day of the tide, we're gonna go for broke. We're gonna start a cube trail. Because there's so many snapping in there, we just we've got to trigger them to bite. And the problem is we're having trouble getting them to bite because the brom is a thousand and it's just gloomy weather coming and they know it, I don't know what's going on but we just need to get them to go. The challenge is get them going, get them feeding. Not just looking at each other, telling each other, each other how good they look with their big honking noses. If you don't throw it in yet because we throw it in when the tides run too hard we're just going to take the snapper away with it as the tide runs it back down the port. Once we're inside that last hour, we can get an effective cube trail going. And a cube, that's all it needs to be. This one, he's got it. <laughs> he let go, I put it back down, he's got, he wanted it bad. Is it better? No. <laughs> Seems to be. <laughs> oh, nice right. enough. Right. Another one. Burley trail. Burley trail. The northwesterly's come up. It's actually swung the boat around against the tide. The fresh squid and the burly trail. Ripping. We've just brought what we do in Western Port down to Welsh Pool, hooked up with the local talent, and we're doing it. <laughs> Josh is giggling there. <laughs> oh, mate, with that. Oh. It's like the Cheshire Eye Cat. Oh. Willie Weather said that this northwesterly 13 knot, 14 knot wind was going to come up at 9 30, 10. It's just literally. Can't even see me. 
9.56, it's just it now. Not bad going, Willy Weather. Keep a few cubes going over. Keep the cubes going. And maybe get the other, get another rod. Oh, we've got a little rod there, have we? Yeah, there he is. How was that hook up? He dropped it, I lowered it back down, and he smacked it again. He wanted it. And this is the difference between sitting here catching nothing and getting results. It's doing the little one percenters and never giving up and having a plan. The plan was get here for the tide change, have fresh squid, get the belly trail going, and bang, we've got a hook up and good snapper again. It's not monster monster, but it's still good. You know, it's better than it's the decent. last one. Yeah, it's definitely good. Gotta keep them away from each other, Josh. Yeah. If you're anything, you'd be good to get your steer your rod out the back a bit. Yeah, I was gonna say winger two was a matter of sanding up the fish. They all marked up on the sander nicely and basically put us on top of them. That's right, mate. You know, we know they're here. We had to work out a way to make them eat. But not such a specific mark either. You basically follow the edges, dropped in and out, and showing the fish on the sander, and there's the proof on the end of the line. He's a nice fish. He's a nice fish. I'm still going. I'm having trouble getting him up. There's going to be a reasonable fish, all right. There's going to be a reasonable fish, yeah. But they're all reasonable fish here as we've seen. Yeah. And as you'll see next week, we're going to show what happened two nights ago. Tonight was just a taste tester, a bit of an intro to Welsh Pool. Next week, you are going to see what we are saying is the single hottest snapper bite ever filmed in Victoria. It's mental. And these are just puppies. Thank you very much. This is amazing. The single hottest bit of snapper fish I've ever done in my life is in Victoria. I never thought of, you know, I've done Arno, the Fuzzle, and Ash, but this is, bring it up, pick it up for us, mate. That is a mega snapper. That is it. Look at that. Get him up. Here's what he'd be getting nudging. How fat they are. Well, the wrist is starting to hurt, so that's registering 10 kilo, I think. <laughs> That's what happened, mate. We had a plan, we stuck to it, and you saw the plan, you tracked it with us, and that's the result. It's called Thinking Big. Awesome. Love this fish. I want to get it going, mate. I don't want to hurt her. Let's get it going. Look at that big, beautiful, broad animal. Look at her. Come on. Yes, bit of kick. Go. Go down, darling. Yeah! That is awesome. Anyway, that's another You Fish TV. We'll see you next week with part two. Victorian Mega Snapper Madness. Think big. See you then. <laughs>